I just got back from Card Party 2 where I spent $1,000 on Yu-Gi-Oh cards. What's up, everybody? We are at Card Party 2 in Orlando, which is more of a Pokemon thing, I know, but I'm gonna be looking for some cool cards. Last time when I was here last year, did find some pretty cool Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, so I'm hoping to do that again this year. I also have another goal that I'm gonna tell you about in just a second, but first, room tour. So I actually ended up with my own room, two beds, obviously too much for one person, but this is what we got going on here. So we got a couple pairs of shoes. Here's the basketball shoes, because we got a ball out today. So we're gonna get ready for that Kevin Durant. Then, we got all my plugs, you know, I got everything plugged in. There's where I slept. Here's this clutch fanny pack bag thing, which is gonna be really nice for holding all my stuff. I'm gonna look like an old man, it's gonna be perfect. We got the Nintendo, what is this thing called, DS Lite? I caught a shiny Shinx on the way to, uh, on the, or not on the airport, on the airplane. It's pretty cool on the way here, first shiny chain. And then uh, we've got some cards here, I've got some more cords. These are some of the cards that I'm gonna be trying to trade in, so slash sell and pick up something else. So I have these three cards from a upcoming PSA return, so spoiler alert, I also have my Moonbrion in here. I'm gonna try to turn those cards into something big, like I'm talking like Crystal Lugia, maybe a big Yu-Gi-Oh item, something like that. So I'm trying to get rid of these cards and the Moonbrion and get something cool. That's the goal for this video. Then, okay, more clothes. There's the Pokerux merch. Yeah, we're wearing it right now. Let's see if we can, there we go, check it out. Limited run of five, no, six, I mean, five or six. I don't remember how many I have, but yeah, we're, we're working on merch for Ruxin, but it's gonna happen eventually. Then we have the old school RuneScape station. Don't worry, I'm not gonna, I'm not being slowed down by, by being gone. I will be on the grind. Wood cutting level 99 soon. And then we've got, you know, tips and tricks over here. Of course, the Owala. Got to have Boba Fett, very important. And uh, yeah, that's basically everything. So that's about everything you needed to know, which is probably needed to know about 0% of that. The only thing that really matters is that we're turning in, or tr not turning in, I get, it's not in the library. I'm gonna be trading those cards in, selling those cards to try and pick up something big. If I can do that in this video, this is gonna be a success. Other than that, who knows what's gonna happen. I mean, it's a Pokemon event. You guys don't even like Pokemon, so let's get to it. <laughs> See if they're buying these things. Are you guys buying these? Uh, uh, yes, we are. Those guys over there. They're over there. A yeah, Pokey Ridge. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. For a second, they were like, "Yeah, we're buying," and then this other guy came over and was like, "We're not." So, no luck on the first one. But there should be other people maybe buying these. Are you guys buying right now? Yeah. Brooks in. Yeah. You buying these? <laughs> I'm trying to turn these into something like vintage or something. So that's the goal right now. But that's the that's the big one, obviously. There's one tin here. I think that's pretty decent. These are not pretty small, but. How much you said? He's, he said seven, 800 over there. How much, like 750? 750, that's fair. Okay, I'll, I'll let you know. We sold one slab for 20 bucks, so. Oh, that looks nice like that. Okay, here's the vintage <laughs> right here. Hey, hey, you trying to get the, trying to get the legendary collection? Four hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. If, if, so, if somebody walked up and bought this, it'd be the biggest baller move ever. If I get Pat Flynn security next to him. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta leave, Ace. Yeah, yeah you gotta be careful. You gotta have like a yeah, truck ready to go. All right, I just sold the Gengar and Mimikyu. Or no, Gengar and is it Mimikyu? Yeah, one hundred forty dollars. So we're up to one hundred and sixty bucks. Not bad. Selling the Moonbrion. That's our big ticket item. If we can get to a thousand total, it'd be great because there's a lot of things I would like to buy here. Still haven't looked at all for all the Yu-Gi-Oh. There was an LB box, can't afford that. But maybe something else we can't afford will be coming up soon. And then we can use our money that we've sold. So very excited to keep trying to sell. Let's get to it. Look who's here. How's it going, Ruxin fans? Well, I just it's picked up this man. sucker. Ooh, we love uh, some Pequeño Moths. Pequeño Moth. It's Close a great enough. pickup. That's about as good as it gets here. Honestly, true. And now we can finally eat because I waited for you. Yum, yum. Let's go. Anna Vet made it to card party. The anime Corvette with a QR code. That's hilarious. We got Master Roshi with the blood, bloody nose because he looked at the panties. Yeah, yeah. give us the backstory, Sean. They got, they got a couple things. I'm not much of an anime guy, but I. I at least know some things. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, 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 I see a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Dude, that was my oh, guy. Uh, Let's go. Dude, what's up, man? What's up, man? Nice to meet you. 
How's it going? How's the sales going and everything? Yeah, right, we just started. Just complain. Yeah. Well, do you, are you buying anything? Not at the moment. Oh, man. I wanna, I'm curious, what, what do you wanna show me? Okay, I'm try, I've got two things I'm trying to sell. One is very cheap, one's not so much. Which one's a very cheap, which one's not You'll have to guess. I, I think I'll know, I'll spread. <laughs> Did you figure it out? So cheap. So I'm guessing that one's yeah. also cheap. Yeah. Also yeah, we got cheap slabs, so. Yeah, so I'm trying to move those and, and move on to something vintage or something. These will sell today for sure. I've had some pretty decent offers on this. This one, very cheap, so not as much interest. You're gonna have to like add this to this. Right. I'm like, look, you gotta take this too. You gotta add ten dollars or something at least yeah at least yeah oh my god thank you so much for sharing no i wouldn't i can't break the bank for this today yeah yeah it, now, it's expensive know. man all right but at least you have some Yu-Gi-Oh cards the first actual cards i've seen of i've course, seen some still product a, i have this this 2002 blue eyes right this one i met erica she's a sweetheart so i got her to sign yeah the I signature yeah very cool and then yeah. I, just because i have one <laughs> yeah dark magician girls classic got some one piece everybody loves one piece now one so that's cool you got some video games over here Ooh, nice. You guys buying anything right now? Yeah. <laughs> you buying this? Yeah. Uh, how much you want for this? Have you had any offers? I've had 750 is the offer. Would you take 750 or is that? I've already got an offer of 750. Yeah, so. I don't think I could beat that. Yeah, that's fair. No problem. That's kind of, a, kind of the number I think right now. Um, this will be 15 bucks. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to offload it. Yeah, I got it. I just put in a bulk sub, and I was like, I'll just try to get my money back on this thing. I thought I was gonna get a ten, got a nine. I was like, dang. The cost of grading. What a great, a great sale. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Well, what a huge deal. We'll keep trying for this one. This is a big deal, though. We got rid of the charge. All right. All right. Thank you very much. What were you offered for this? Seven fifty. Seven sixty, technically. One guy upped it by ten, but I'm trying to get eight. Seven eighty four. I'd do it. Do I'll do it. Seven eight four. Let's do it. I'll do seven ninety for you, since I like your shoes. Respect, man. Actually, I'll do eight hundred. Actually. Respect. I appreciate yeah. it. All right, we sold the moon Brion. That means I have how much do I have? Eight hundred, one forty, fifteen, and twenty. That gets me to one eighty five or nine eighty five. So almost a thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Hopefully, that we can find some neat things at this year card party. Yeah, hopefully. We've got Dustin from PSA, and he told me they surprised me some cards. Yeah, so we got the, the great Pequeno set. set. All tens. Oh all from my! The 25th anniversary. Dude, we sure had these already, but that's gonna okay. I have I have two graded, but not 25th anniversary. Okay. So that's okay. gonna be cool to add to the collection. I don't have this graded or this graded though. Okay. So this is gonna add to the collection. That's sick. Nice. nice. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. We're Shout out to PSA. Yeah, right here at Card Party, taking in submissions. Let's go. I've been looking everywhere for Yu-Gi-Oh. There's nothing here. Over in this corner over here, you see we're in a corner. This man. What's up? Introduce yourself, please. Uh, my name is Andrew, Andrew On. I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh competitively. I was number one in Georgia at 15 years old. I'm now 33. And, uh, you know, just love the game. Fell out of love for the game because I wanted to go into more of the Pokemon because that's where the money is but I still have all the good retro you guys know. He has some great Edison stuff, and we just came to a deal. We've got a Deep Sea Diva from Turbo Pack already. We gotta add it, so I'm gonna go through some of this stuff and see if we can find anything pretty awesome. There's some foreign Light and Darkness Dragon. It's pretty awesome, Retro Pack 2, classic stuff. A lot of foreign in here. Not necessarily a huge foreign guy myself, but I know a lot of people collect them. We're just shuffling through here. It's a bunch of extra stuff. First dead, Yamada Dragon, Marauding Cat, it's some good old school cards for sure. Substitute's about to get that, that reprint. There they are. These are money right now though. They're crazy. We're really looking for some Edison English finds. There's the foreign version of the one I just looked at. I think that's it. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's a cool card. Tactical Evolution, no blood. That is not a foreign Raviel. That's pretty cool. Ultimate Rare, that's a big one. Snatch Steel, Heat Wave. Oh, whoa, DR04, gotta look at that. Oh, White Hole. Ooh. That's an original, that's the counter to Dark Hole. They play Dark Hole, you play White Hole. It's the worst card ever. <laughs> Thank you so much for all these awesome cards. We just picked up a bunch of vintage stuff, some for my Edison deck, some for just raw cool stuff. Thank you so, so much for that. And uh, you got anything you want to shout out? Uh, follow me on Entrepreneur, A-H-N-T-R-E-P-E-N-E-U-R. Uh, also go to all the shows and uh, always buy collections. 
Awesome, so keep an eye out for him, guys. He's into the Pokemon now, but he's still got some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I'm ready, let's do this. Let's pull a Stardust Dragon promo. All right, here we go. All right, there's where his is. All right, 2023 Dueling Heroes pack. Here we go, let's see what we can get. Best pulls, Thunder Discharge. We get a couple of foils in here. Amazon Secret Arts, Rux and Special, Super <laughs> Rux and Special. We got the Carbion, we got the Weather Painter Moonbow. Okay, Amazonist Augusta. Scatter Fusion, here's the good stuff right here. Cast your rebirth, that's fine. And Runic Found, that is the worst card ever. And by worst, I mean nobody likes it. So, really? oh, wow. yeah, that, that, that's painful to play against. Very painful. Oh yeah, come on. Good luck, good luck. Well, it's hard to read all those cards. They have 50 names. <laughs> yeah, it, so you just gotta say one or you just move on. Just go to the next one. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. That's a real, you beat me already. Drew Swarm's good. Yeah, that's a few bucks. Okay. And, yeah, and threes, yeah, yeah, you definitely won. Uh, you definitely won if we're doing, if we're just right. doing two packs. Rev, get in here. Oh, so, uh, we got a third pack. One pack. One you're you're so, gonna open this already, thing up. I already beat Russell, let's see if you... You, you gotta beat him. All right. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah, you right. got, yeah, oh, that, it's right here. Oh, you put sorry. it right there. No, 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 you can't. And your face, he can see your uh, face uh, too, uh, so. I got you, I got yeah, yeah, okay. live editing. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, it's like a double whammy, what? dude. It's like looking at your stomach now. Oh, it's on my stomach. Yeah. like this, I'm confused. <laughs> dude, you gotta zoom out. You should have, <laughs> dude. You should have zoomed out on that. That would have been great. Wow, it's Pokey Rev. All right, dude. I good luck, man. Doing, yeah, you got this, dude. <laughs> Yugi Rev. Yugi Rev's back. I need this kind of camera. Hey, Yugi Rev, how's it looking? It's looking like we're cooking. You're cooking. <laughs> that was rhyming. We're okay. Okay. Are we doing uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm pretty sure he beat us both, though. Okay. The right, the right's decent. The right's decent, but I don't know if it beat you because you had two decent cards. Uh, overall, we did okay, though. We did okay. The, the best part. Opening pass with Red Belly. Yes, Red. Red stomach. Red was like. All right, everybody. <laughs> you see, it's right there. It's got like a face cam. but it's been a year. That's how you remember. Yeah, that's that's how we too? record. Really? Yeah, I, I had a that. camera like that. I think it's, I, I, I got two cameras. Business. I had two cameras. Yeah. I have one here yeah. and one, one like this. You're doing this. so well. Yeah. All right, we've got a 20, not a 25th anniversary, a 2017 Legend of the Blue Eyes pack. So let's see if we can pull something crazy. Yeah. Ghost Rare in here. I've once had a Ghost Rare out of here. Really? Out of these bad cards. Oh, really? Oh, so Okay. And it's has not happened since 2017 or 18 when hey, I was not recording. Have you got a advisor? Hey, yeah. look, Speed Duel. Serpent Knight was crazy for a while. It's crazy in Speed Duel. The Sheen's advisor is pretty cool, I think. Yeah. yeah. Advisor. Let me see. Is that an OG one? It's a super. Uh, no, it's not. I'm guessing it's a repack. Yeah. Yeah. This okay. is, is this a third party pack? Yeah. So this is repacked third party. That they were these were on Walmart's. So they put extra cards in there, and then they put the sealed packs in there. So yeah. At one point, someone put a ghost rare in there. It was a Galaxy Ash Photon Dragon Unlimited. That's, that's what he said. Which back when they were repacked, it was 10 bucks. It, it was 10 bucks, yeah. That's 10 more dollars than you'd probably ever yeah. had in one of those. And then I think I sold it for 20. I'm like so mad that I did that. <laughs> I still wish I had that. All right, get close on me. All right, let, let, we got we to have this blue eyes right dragon right here. Wasteland, let's go, baby. Armail, Dark Gray, Lesser Dragoon, Petite Dragoon, Silver Bow and Arrow. It's going to be a rare right here. And then. A terror, the terrible. Terror, the terrible. What a terrible way to end that. What a terrible card to pull. All right. But this is one piece. To climb aboard, bring You're gonna along love this. all your hopes and dreams. Oh. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. This is like all my nostalgic stuff that I used to play back in the day. Not from one a, back in the day. Is that a retro pack? Is this an ulti? Uh, yes. No, that's DLG. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is this an ulti? Or is that an ulti? No, I wish it was. So, That'd be crazy. I'll have, one re I'll have one soon. Ka I love this print of Caius, yeah. and it's so not expensive, which is why I just need to get those for my Deep Sea Diva deck. Uh, I love this print too. Yeah, that print. OG is print fire. the Shonen Jump magazine. Is fire. Yeah. Oh, the Ulti Skill Drain is Dasher. So Everyone, those are crazy. It's so sad. It's because Dude, this, the, the rare foilings. used to be fifteen dollars. I know, and now they did six. They did sixty prints of it this one should, time. It's only be like a seventy dollar card. This is yeah. beautiful too. It's only twenty five bucks. Like I don't understand. Yeah, that's so cheap. I the reason this one's so cheap is because the foiling on it is terrible. It looks like a common eighty percent of. The I thought you said new ultimates are better, Sean. It, it is, but like that in Zodia, like. 
exist. Those two specifically just do not look nice. Yeah. All right, now I'm showing you deck stuff, okay? And it's like a lot of high rarity stuff. Okay. This is Tingo. You're so you're not, gonna be familiar you're with you're a lot of cards. You're not even double sleeving these? No, I'm not. Dude, Bro, I'm an old school Yu-Gi-Oh player. We don't. We didn't double sleep back in the day. Dude. That's true. Oh, that's ulti, true. I think this is German or Spanish. It's Spanish. Okay. I, I need to get that, ultis of this. I'm like still I, upgrading stuff. Ulti Econs. So ulti Morning, one of my favorite cards of all time. So beautiful. Ulti Book, another Ulti Econ. Yeah. First Dead. Portuguese? Yeah, Portuguese. Okay, uh, not that rare compared yeah, to like yeah, yeah, English. Yeah, you gotta set but, like, that up. That's yeah, fine. That's fine. But, uh, OG um, Mirror Force, no First Dead, obviously, because that card's like 500 bucks oh, probably. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Original. Bro, you're gonna cut right to that sucker. <laughs> I know. Single sleeve, man. I know, dude. Look at this guy. Know, he knows dude. what he's doing. I know, dude. He knows what he's doing. I've been playing for many years. We we do single. It's fine. Uh, turbo pack, dude. Those are nice. Yeah, those yeah, yeah. They really are. Man, I gotta get first dead tour guide my original. Cards. My cards are lame. Dude. CP lone fire. I think it's German, Italian. Yeah. Uh, Serpent TFK. Yeah. No, absolutely. Come on. The, I mean, that would be double fair, sleeved. Hot take. That card's way cooler because it looks way. Cooler. I absolutely agree. Yeah, no, no I absolutely agree. One hundred percent. One fiftieth of the price, or whatever. It's ridiculous. Five hundred or whatever. Another DLG Sangen, not nice. RP because that's just way too expensive for no reason. Would you, would you reprint? Yep. I got a collection sent to me by a viewer for free that had a Retro Pack 1 Sangin in there. Yeah, I that's it. awesome. For another like, first set ring, another Turbo Pack, and there's be, three ulti of this. Yeah. I think Ooh. that's it? I, I, I am a sucker for uh, for Dekoichi uh, ultis. Those are like nice. Okay, not bad, not bad. And nice Lakers, by the way. Thank you, I appreciate it, Too man. bad they suck. Big, all right, no comment. Got a little trade going on here. We just, we just made a Yu-Gi-Oh deal. Nothing crazy, just some light, you know? Three Trigodias, two Dust, Black Rose, Redum, Miss Worm, did I get him for free? Yeah, and the Horus. Clutch, clutch. For the yeah, ulti tour nothing guide. crazy, just an ulti Just a tour beautiful guide. ulti tour guide. That's a really nice card, the Gezi sleeve. Yep, With the Gezi sleeve, nice. shout out to Gezi. All this stuff, Edison, going in, except this, going into the Edison box. So, good stuff. Thank you very much, sir. No problem. Take some real skill. All right, here we go. It's game time. LeBron James. Oh, that was close. Oh, all right, all right. I see you. Let's see what you got. Fader. Buckets. Close enough. Crazy how far you come. You come so far in life. <laughs> My life is over.